motivation, what's giving me that drive is just me. Like, I want to be the best again. I don't, I don't like being one of those dudes that can go to a contest and get a top 10. Like, I look at it like anyone can do that. You know what I mean? If you go practice and you ride your dirt bike every day, like, you can go to the top 10. But for me, I want to be the best, and I know what it takes. I know you have to dedicate your ass off, and you have to, you have to, you have to ride your butt off every day. You have to train. You have to work out. Like, I'm like so motivated and so dedicated to myself. Like, I want to be the best, and I, I know what I have to do to do it. And putting junk in my body and not working out and not training ain't gonna get me a gold medal. Me being dedicated to myself and, and training my ass off and going for what I want is what's gonna is what giving me my motivation because I know I can go to X Games and I know I can win everything I ride this year. And I'd say for me, it's just self-motivated man like I want to go out and be the best and I, I want to prove to myself not anybody else not no sponsor not no no people that run X Games or anyone like I want to prove to myself I, I can be that dude I can be the best and that's what I'm gonna do. Year when I started taking time off, I was, you know, I just got done riding. I was just doing nuclear cowboys. I was gone every weekend, rode a lot of contests the year before that, and then I had another kid. And after my kid came, I was just like, I just wanted to chill, you know what I mean? I'm like, I missed so many things, and this time I was like, I'm not gonna let that happen. Like, I wanna watch her, I wanna watch her grow, I wanna like be with her this whole first year, you know? And, and that's pretty much what I did, and I took a lot of time off. I got a lot of heat for it from a lot of sponsors, I lost some, but. Honestly, like I said, it's probably the best thing I ever did because I was so unmotivated to ride my dirt bike. I, was, I wasn't having fun. I hated riding. I hated waking up and going in the garage and looking at my bike. And there were so many times I came out here and I just looked at my bike and I'm like, I don't even want to ride it, you know? Like, I, but I think that's the same way with anyone. Like, say you play basketball for 13 years straight. There's going to come that day where you're, over, you're like, I don't even want to play. Like, I'm over it, you know what I mean? And, and I, every once in a while I think you need a break. And I know when I come back from this, I'm going to be one of the best dudes again. And, I honestly think taking that time off was the best thing I could have done for myself for sure. Just because it made me think about what I want to do, who I am, and, and what I have going for me in the future. And what, uh, it gave me something to look forward to. Like I, I knew, like, all right, I'm down at the bottom again, and everyone thinks I'm down and out. And little did I know, I've been busting my ass riding every single day, training every single day. And I'm going to be one of the best dudes again, I'll guarantee that. You know, when uh, Jeremy called me about a month and a half ago, two months ago, saying, hey, I'm, I'm ready to get back in it and uh, I'm ready to get back on the program, I'm focused, I want it this year. I said, all right, well, we'll see. Charles knows exactly how I am, man. Like, he, he knows my little lies and, you know, I gave him a phone call. I'm like, hey, I'm like, I want to start training. He's like, okay, cool, you know, like, hit me up. I hit him up on like a Thursday. I'm like, you know, I want to start, start again on Monday, you know? And then I uh, called him again on Sunday night. I'm like, yo, we on for tomorrow? And he was like, yeah, we're on. So that in itself was, was already changed. I said, okay, so let's see how, uh, how long and how consistent he can bring it. I do whatever I need to do. Whatever he tells me to do, I do it. I don't say, oh, can I do less? Or I'm like, all right, how many do it and then get it over with. And I definitely say he, he's probably one of, the, one of the few that have noticed how hard I've been putting in work because I'm with him every day of the week, you know what I mean? So, pumped. I've never seen Jeremy this focused, this hungry uh, before ever. You know, this is, like I said, it was almost four years that we've been working together now. And, um, you know, there's something different about him. And I had asked him, I said, hey, what's, what, what's your deal this year? Why are you so motivated? Why are you so hungry to go out there? He said, you know, there's a lot of guys just talking smack. You know, um, guys that are basically saying, I'm old now. Uh, I'm washed up. You know, I can go out there and kill it in the hills, but 
you know, come uh, the, to putting, uh, you know, some runs together and when it comes to contests, he ain't got nothing anymore. You know, I, I think that really, 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 you know, touched a, a soft spot, you know, deep down inside and lit a fire under his butt. And, you know, with Jeremy, um, like myself, it's like, you know, you want to motivate us, get us mad, talk shit, you know, so um, we'll step it up and, and we'll shut you up. You know, and, and I'm very, very proud of him for that. Um, right now, we're doing a lot of explosive, full body functional movements, a lot of power lifting, um, and he's working out with me in here in the studio about three days a week. We're doing a lot of stuff um, on the road bike as well to get his cardio up. Um, so about five days a week of putting in some good work. Yeah, me and Charles talk every day, and he always asks me, like, how's riding going? Like, how are these tricks going? And I let him know, like, hey, like, when I come back from this trick, he was like, here, let, you know, try this workout. And he starts stretching me way more and having me do certain little things. And coming back from KOD flips, like, when you're fully stretched out, like, coming back, like, you use a lot of your body. And I'm like, yo, like, this is hard for me to come back. And he's like, do this workout. So he'll, like, he'll, he'll, he'll work in workouts around what I need to learn or what I need help with on the bike. And I think that's one thing that's cool about him is, like, he, he works his schedule around me to like help me get what I need, you know what I mean? It's not just like, here, do this workout and that's it. Most of the trainers are just like, yeah, do this and you know, be strong and this is all you need. And he's like, like how's this or how's that? And I always explain to him like, like I think my stomach's weak. Like when I come back from Lazy Boy Flips, it's hard for me. I struggle to come back. He'll make me do extra stomach stuff. and Just certain things like that. It's cool. I can let him know like what I need help with and he handles it. I don't know why, but every time I ride with Nate or I ride with Matto, like I just feel like, I think we just vibe off of each other and we push each other to try more stuff. Like if I see them do it, I want to do it better. They see me, they see me do it, they want to do it better. And it's always been like that since I've ridden with those dudes. And same with Potter, you know what I mean? And I just think, even though we're out practicing, we always want to look better than each other. We always want to do bigger tricks, and I think that's, I think it's cool. I think it's fun. I like riding with dudes that are as good as me, if not better, because it pushes you. And I would think me coming back from not riding at all and riding with all these gnarly dudes has helped me a lot, like definitely. Like I've ridden with Matto the most on my comeback, like coming back and starting wanting to ride again, and he, he's pushed me a lot. And he, That's one thing I like about Matto, he'll tell me straight up, like, that trick looks dumb, it sucks, like you need to do this or you need to do that. And he'll always ask me, like, how'd it look? I'm like, I, I, I know you can do it way better, like we shoot each other straight. So I think it's cool when, when you got a relationship like that with dudes you compete with that are, that are letting you know, like, you ain't even there, you know what I mean? Now I'm hearing like, dude, you're right there, like, let's go, you're ready for a contest, and yeah, but it's good, it makes you feel good about yourself when you ride dudes with like that, and they care, they care about you just as much as you care about them, I think it's cool. I think it's dope when you pull into the arena and you just hear like, everyone stand up and just start cheering for you. Like, that just, you know you're doing something right when you got that many fans, you know what I mean? I've always been a fan favorite, I don't know why, I think just because I've always been myself and I've never, I've never changed who I am to make someone else happy, I've always, I've always spoken with someone mind, if I don't like you, I'll let you know, and I think people, I think that's the one thing people like about me, is I don't put on a front or try to be someone I'm not, and I think that's why I have so many fans, and I think you always got to be true to your fans and, you know, give them updates, let them know what's going on, and make them happy, because without them, what are you, nothing, you know what I mean, like, our sport, freestyle motocross, is about showing off and being an inv individual. But at the end of the day, like you got fans, like you need to make your fans happy too. And I think that's what's cool about my fans is that they know exactly who I am, and I don't ever put on a front for them. And they've, they've always liked it, and they're cool. So realistically, I know I can go to a contest and get top three if I'm dedicated to it, you know. And I want to go there and win, so I'm putting in the extra work and the extra effort. And I would say my goals are always the same: is just be one of the best in the sport, and that's what I'm gonna do. That's all I can do. If, if I don't, if I'm not the best and I'm letting myself down, and I don't like letting myself down.